Hey everyone, Brad here, and I just wanted to send this video out to you really quickly and just wish you a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm recording this just after 5 p.m. on Christmas Eve. I wanted to just do this in one take and just uh, wish you guys all the best uh, for this Christmas year. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I see Christmas. I treat it like a winter holiday, like a celebration. And um, I have fantastic memories growing up about Christmas. And it was the one time of year where my family and I, we really just spoiled each other and we had good times and we looked at the positive aspects of everything. And we had great food and candy and chocolate, and cake and all those wonderful things that you don't really want to indulge in too much throughout the year. And I have so many good memories about Christmas and uh, I was the youngest in my family, so I was constantly spoiled. And uh, the times that I were spoiled was at Christmas. And those gifts I got, uh, I got a lot of Transformers and G.I. Joes and stuff like that. I got some tech gifts and all that good stuff, lots of video games. And I always treated my toys like gold. I was one of those kids that I bought a whole bunch of shelves in my bedroom and I put all my Transformers up on the shelves. So I'd have all my headmasters on one shelf and all my combiners on another. So I'd have different combiners combined. So I'd have like, you know, all the different sets all combined on different shelves. And I had my G.I. Joes all set up nice and all my Vipers were together and all that stuff. I was obsessed with G.I. Joe Vipers. But anyway, I, I remember all those great memories, all those good times. And I still have them this year. I may be older and the gifts may have changed, but I still appreciate them. So now this, you know, now that we're all older in my family, we kind of go more towards like gift cards or a lot of you call them gift vouchers in certain countries. And uh, we do that because, you know, we may not want something right now, but we know we may want something in the future from Amazon or Google Play or whatever. So we tend to just like ask each other what we want for Christmas. And usually it's gift cards and we just go with that. Like my mom loves to garden and she's got lots of clothes. She could always buy new clothes, but she loves to garden too. So I'll buy her gift cards to like a garden center or something like that. And uh, my mom also uh, started this, um, I highly recommend this too, but my mom started this tradition uh, in my family where we call it the necessity box. And basically she's the one that does it and she asks me for what I want that are necessities. So I'm not even gonna use air quotes cause they're literal necessities that you need throughout the year. And things you would never think of asking about for Christmas. So it would be like stuff like a uh, perfect example, uh, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes. If you have an electric toothbrush, you ask for toothbrush heads. Uh, if you shave like me, you'll want razor heads or say your razor is dying and you need a new razor, you'll ask for that and razor heads or uh, dental floss or underarm deodorant or whatever. Uh, it could be toilet paper, like uh, hand towels, tissues, whatever. It's all the little necessities you never really think about and they don't really cost too much. But you know, at Christmas it's kind of nice. So my mom will actually grab a whole bunch of that stuff. She'll wrap everything individually. So she'll wrap the individual items up and then put them in one giant box and then wrap that box. And that's the necessity box. And she pretty much does that for everybody in our family. And she started doing that tradition. I don't even remember when she started doing it, but uh, it was years and years ago. Like I remember her doing it all the way back at least 10, even 15 years ago, she's been doing it for. And uh, we just love doing it and I appreciate those little things and these times of year I have all the I have all the stuff I really want at this time in my life and all the physical material things so now it's just like give me a gift card it's all good or a blu-ray movie like one of the Marvel movies or something like that that's basically what I typically ask for and uh, then I just spoil my uh, the little ones that are you know my nieces and nephews and stuff like that I'll spoil them at Christmas and that's basically what I do every Christmas and I know they want lots of stuff and it takes a while for me to pry it out of them to find out what they actually want because usually it's like what kind of candy do you like I like chocolate well what kind of chocolate do you like dark chocolate white chocolate milk chocolate what kinds of chocolate because you know there's a lot of people out there that like Nestle or Cadbury or whatever so it's interesting trying to get those details out, but uh, as long as you focus on trying to get that information a lot earlier in the year, um, my mom and I are a lot of like that way. We uh, 
try to get all of our presents done by like the end of September, maybe early October. If we have a few gifts here and there that we have to get there, just like a gift card or something like that, we'll do it last minute. Not a big deal. But uh, we tend not to stress over Christmas and we just really just enjoy the time of year and we just celebrate it in like a peaceful and happy time. So I just wanted to uh, reminisce a little bit about my family and the things that we did. And uh, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas to you. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, uh, happy holidays, because a lot of you uh, choose to work on this time of year and you get uh, sometimes you get double pay or time and a half if you are working, if you're not. And even if you're spending it alone, um, just watch Christmas movies and eat great food and just enjoy and think about all the good times, all the good things that happen this year. Even you may have struggled throughout the year. Try to not focus on that this year. Try to focus on the good things. Even if they're little things, you know, someone you met, maybe somebody you started dating, maybe somebody you married, like maybe it was something like that. Maybe it was a vacation you went on where your friends and you had the best time of your lives. But uh, that's basically what I do this time of year. So thank you very much for watching. Have a happy holiday. Enjoy your winter celebration and Merry Christmas. See you in the new year. Did you like this video? Then hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.